Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful lands of Omen, where we are at war with Kaffa. Uh, it's been a bit of a slugfest. He's attacking us into the mountains and into the hills all the time. And he keeps beating us because he's got this giant... Well, he's just walking around with his entire army. So we have been slowly sieging things, and I believe we have enough troops here now where if he attacks us, we can properly defend. And we should be okay in this war. Uh, what's going on with the Auto-Turks? Well, they've dropped from friendly to cordial, and I'm not sure why. It could be because he just doesn't want to go to any wars at the moment. They trust us, but yeah, we'll see how that turns out. Our truce with the Ottomans is um, our truce with the Mamluks is over. Our truce with Persia is over, so we can go back to war with them whenever we want. I think I would like to do it with Ottoman assistance, though, because we're fabricating all over Persia right now. I need to I need to start fabricating on the Mamluks over here. I want to grab, well, I guess Tirana and Fayum. I can't fabricate anything over here, and these are going to go to my vassal, so I don't want to fabricate on those at all. Now, the knights said he wanted to vassalize, so I'm considering getting him as a vassal, and I can feed him some of this shit. Is he fabricating on things? Uh, no. Well, he's fabricating over here. Uh, I would like it if he fabricated, like, on Greece or something. I don't know. Or over here on Tunis. Oh, wow, Tunis. Wait, what? When did Tunis beat up the Mamluks? He's got a truce with the Mamluks. I, did, I didn't even notice Tunis was at war with the Mamluks. Look at that. Anyway, uh, we pieced out a Juron. We took the three border provinces, which we had claims on. And I think it's going to be the same sort of thing with Kaffa. It's just going to be, you know, multiple wars of attrition, beating him down, stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. Max relations with the Ottomans, and we're only at 155. Well, we don't have a marriage, but I don't want to risk a marriage and then... Are you kidding me? What the fuck, game? I don't have words. Our, we can't keep a leader alive for more than a couple years. Wow. Welcome to shitty Regency Council. God damn. Well, not much we can do about that. God damn. Apparently existing is too difficult for this nation. Not allowed to exist. Unbelievable. Because our last Sultan just died. It just happened. They're all dying at like 20 something years old. Wow. That's so shitty. And now we're guaranteed to get internal conflicts. There's nothing we can do about it because we're not going to be able to get four stability. Not with this Regency. Wow. I'm going to take a 4,000 ducat loan. Do I want to take a 4,000 ducat loan? No, the interest would be massive. Alright. Kick this expensive advisor. Colonize Alta Gracia. Maybe I don't want to colonize Alta Gracia. Will you stop giving me that mission? No, of course you won't. You're going to give me that mission until I finally finish it, huh? I have colonized Alta Gracia like six times for that mission. And it keeps sending me back to Alta Gracia. I don't know what to say about it other than it's fucking annoying.
Siege all the things. Are you going south? No, he's going north. wonder if I can trap him in by sieging Agu. I probably can, but he'll just go through Fazugli. Alright, where are you going? I think he's going up here. He's gonna beat me to Semyon? Wow, he can move. He can move from Agu to Dembia to Semyon, which looks like a long distance. He can move there faster than I can go right next door from Gondor. That's pretty crazy. Got a free diplomat. What am I going to be doing with my diplomat? All right, he's attacking me in Lasta. That's fine. I'll go there. You can attack me in Lasta. Um, can I put a general in there? No. No, I cannot. But I can get a general. I'm at two out of two. Ah, eh, whatever. Get a general. As soon as I see that lock, I'm going to collapse on him. Oh, he changed his mind. He's no longer going that way. Well, shit. Completely changed his mind. I think he's going to Hamasian or whatever it's called. Oh, wow. We can't just walk there because of the fort, of course. Shit. Oh, we're going to be so late to this party over here. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. 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 Oh no, I'm attacking. Oh no, I thought he was going to be gone by the. Fucking hell, it takes him so long to get there, and I've locked my movement. I gotta retreat out of this battle. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck. God damn it. Okay, that was a completely unintentional game, but thanks for punishing me hardcore for it. Oh my god, we're 17,000 manpower in the hole? When did this happen? Well, I can get some of it back. Where? Can you just show me where I'm recruiting soldiers, please? No? It's... I'm recruiting one soldier. Where? Where? I have no idea. I don't know. That really fucking hurts. That was a big, big mistake. I'm getting bent over backwards for it. <sighs> 58 on conflicts. We gotta get our stability up to zero. I don't know how, though. I could go for the cheaper stability guy, if there was one. Hormuz. Aha! Thank you, Twitch chat. God, I wish the game would at least show you where the fuck it is. Like, it tells you, oh, you have X number of troops building. But if you mouse over it, it doesn't tell you where they are. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to find him, then? Go.
cores are coming in. Good. Oh, he's going to beat me there. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm already locked in and he's going to beat me there. Fuck! What the fuck is wrong with the fucking map over here? Apparently, these provinces are just one inch away. He can walk there in four days, and I'm already locked in, meaning I've been moving for a long time. I can't turn around now, and it's still going to take me longer to get there than it takes him just to walk next time. Why? Fuck! I can't catch a fucking break with this shit. I'm going to beat you, Twitch chat. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. You can't You can't win. I win. <laughs> I win. Take that, Twitch chat. <laughs> Please let me retreat. Sixteen thousand manpower in the hole. Not the best place to be. No, just just regular merge. Just regular merge. There's no way I'm gonna replenish all this manpower. We are making some progress on sieges, but we have not won a battle against this army. Not not one. Not at all. He's got Oh, that's what it is. He's got five maneuver. So basically he's Jesus. Still five thousand troops in the negative. Okay, at least I can walk straight there. I'm assuming... Yeah, he's going there. Alright. As soon as I see... How long does it take to get there? <sighs> oh my God. That's only 26 versus his 35. I, st I need more troops up there. And my general sucks compared to his. He's got a, a 235 versus my 114. I don't really have good generals. I have shit. You are decent. I'll swap you in. All right, come on. getting absolutely crushed. Are we actually going to win a battle? It looks like it. Barely. Oh my god. We're still losing more than he is on all these rolls. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, that was brutal! Rip my army. That was a defensive battle, by the way. With pretty much the same general he had. Oh 
Holy shit. I can't fight that again. That was insane. Oh goody, we got a fort siege down. Thank goodness, something. We did something right. What a fucking painful battle that was. We lost 20-something thousand soldiers in that battle. He's only one tech ahead of us, so don't tell me it's a tech difference. He's one tech ahead. And that tech isn't like new units. It's cavalry shock plus one. It's big whoop. We can't convert anything. <sighs> we need some fucking piety. We still have our missionary strength guy, but we can't convert anything because we have no piety. So bad. Can we please get some piety events? Please. There he goes. I don't know where he's going. He's probably going to go attack up there again. Or maybe he's going to go siege Gonder. He might try Gonder. I don't think I can defend Gonder. I don't think there's anything I can do to defend Gonder. I'm just going to go up here. Alright, we got another fort sieged. Good. He is attacking. And we're gonna leave one day late. Even with even with four maneuver, he's still gonna catch us. Oh, he changed his mind. Okay, thank goodness. So he's attacking 37 versus 26. I assume it's 26. No, our vassal has 5,000 troops. So 37 versus 31, he's attacking. He's got 2-3 versus my 1-3. So it's pretty much the same general. Except, I don't know, magic. He constantly just crushes everything. We have more morale. We He's got better discipline. We have more morale. We have the same tactics. Okay, we're fine. Apparently, he was just getting super fucking amazing lucky on some rolls. And he's not anymore. Okay, I can handle that. I can handle he was just getting lucky. That's fine. It sucks, but it's fine. Also, holy shit, that's a lot of rebels. Particularists. Oh. 
and peasants. I didn't even know there were particulars and peasants forming. Now I can see they are. Okay, well... I've not been paying attention to that. We even have rebels in the fucking colonies. That that sucks. All right, I, I can't I can't stay in this war. This is just because the, we're we're going to get aggressive, not aggressive. We're going to get overextension, which is just going to increase our revolt risk massively. I'm tempted just to make him release a nation like that. Like, there's the peace deal. But I can't, because I don't have enough war score. I could release Funi. Let's do that. That's cheap. Take some cash. Yeah. Okay, that is not what it showed me. The preview showed me it would release Funi from this entire area, not just that. Well, whatever. I can't deal with it right now. What a shit war that was. What a shit fucking war that was. And that was a really buggy peace deal, too. Well, I don't need the prestige, so I'll take the money, I guess. I mean, this is nuts right now. What happens if they win? Gain autonomy. Okay. Well, we just gained 50 autonomy in our entire nation. I don't have the manpower to fight those guys. I don't. That sucks. Okay, let's take care of internal shit right now, because we are absolutely fucked. Not been paying attention to Portugal. Where did he go? I don't see him. I don't know. Yeah, there's a there's a looming disaster. I don't know if we can do anything about that because we don't have any fucking admin points. Let's see if we can hire someone nice and. Uh, Hopefully we can get our stab up quickly enough. I don't think so, though. We're not making any missionary progress. Even when we had the missionary advisor, we did not make any progress because our, our PD is too low. I'm just going to cancel it all. Even nine, even ninety-two percent. Cancel it all. We don't need the revolt risk right now. Shit. This is brutal. We got absolutely fucked. We lost two sultans just blink of an eye. Goodbye, all of that stability.
127 to increase our stability. Okay. I don't think we can do it in time. We need to get to zero. Wish there was a stability cost guy. 10% cheaper stability can make a big difference. Well, the next rebels are going to be Mom Mamlukian separatists. I think we can handle that, but the problem is we don't have any fucking manpower. I mean, look at this army. 629. It's disgusting. I'm going to get some mercs. percent Sina, Karak, Nabulus, Gaza, yeah, they'll they'll spawn. Oh, I gotta go to Karak, that's mountains. I hope we can get there in time. Well, maybe. I'll put in that four maneuver general, maybe we'll get there in time. Let's go ahead and bump stability. We gotta do that three more times. God, so many rebels want to spawn. What's next? Iraqi separatists. That's these provinces. Okay. Now, in some of these, we could just decrease the autonomy, right? Well, not there, but here, I think. Yeah, here we can just increase the autonomy. Let's do that. Can't do it everywhere. But any place where we can, I think it makes sense to do that. Yeah, I should build a fort in Jerusalem, definitely, to protect this area. But at the moment, we don't have a fort there, no. Okay, the Philippines is almost done. We got one more. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six more provinces. We're done with the Philippines. We still have one, two, three more on Borneo. One, two, three, four, five, six more on Sulawesi. I mean, it's a lot to do. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it all, especially when we're dealing with all this crap. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Ten percent. What's our disaster status at? Like ninety? Ninety-four. So in in uh, three months we're gonna have internal conflicts, which is just fucking brutal. Probably enough. 
Okay, we'll fight with what we got. Hope for the best. They haven't spawned yet, though. I kind of wish they would so we could take care of it and move on, you know? I don't want to sit around with my thumb up my butt for 20 years. Their chance to spawn is actually really low. Yeah, we're out of time. I know. I know. I just hate to leave episodes with such a bittersweet ending. What am I talking about? There's no bittersweet at all. It's just bitter. Anyway, yeah. Why don't we call this an episode here? Thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Our colonization continues. I think the colonization's going fine. We have a lot of nice islands over there. Our manpower is in the shitter. Uh, we just gained a whole crap load of autonomy everywhere, which super unfortunate, but what can I do about it, you know? At least in a lot of places, with the unrest so low, we should be able to lower the autonomy, but I don't want to do that just yet, just in case things go tits up. I really want to focus on getting our tech up, especially our uh, military tech, so we can be a little more even-footed, like if we go to war with the Ottomans, uh, I'd like to have Tech 19 or something like that, but we're not quite there right yet. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.